This is Deductor, continuing the Against the Storm, a playthrough. In the last episode, I completely forgot to rename my Prestige 10 town, of course, and it's named Fox Den, despite the fact that there were literally zero foxes in that settlement. And before I take on the lead seal, I just want to keep climbing that Prestige ladder, or at least try. I'm gonna settle myself next to this monastery to hold the flame, which prevents uh, consumption control or favoring any species that doesn't seem like a lot but it's actually a pretty serious uh, problem those are two of the most common tools used to help manage uh, early game resolve so this could get rough um, speaking of foxes I want to unlock the basic uh, the essential blueprint for the fox house and then I kind of want to get myself towards the special abilities of these um, of these uh, races. So I'll unlock the haulers, main warehouse. Um, you can uh, unlock, uh, what's it called? First on headquarters, level five. Allows me to assign villagers to the main warehouse to work as dedicated haulers. This is a new thing added um, since I played early access. I have no earthly idea what it actually does. So we're gonna find out. And I'm gonna settle here and I'll do the foxes and the beavers. Beavers are always nice. This is the marshlands. Um, we don't have a lot of Imbar patient points, but if I win, which I'm trying to, should be able to get more, um, more um, resources, uh, more reserve embarkation points. That's what I meant. So I'm gonna bring an herbalist camp, some villagers, and some extra wood and vegetables. I'm debating the three villagers. Do I really need three villagers? Probably to help gather food and resources. I don't have a whole lot of food. I need to bring more food. That's sure. I'm just trying to bring the cheapest food I got. I know the, the herbalist camp is real good here. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, the seal is actually probably going to be like somewhat easier. So let's, uh, and this is a hard map, so let's do it. Uh, Procedure 11, Blight Rot has a stronger impact. I seem to remember it used to mean it would just like corrupt the hearth faster. We'll see what it does now. Yes, Blight Rock's impact is stronger. Cis generation rate is increased by plus 100%. The herb corrupts plus 50% quicker than normal. And all effects that spawn Blight Rock now add twice as many this. That actually sounds really bad because in year three, we have to deal with it. So we have to set up some um, firefighters on year three. Okay, soil reclamation. So it becomes saturated with rain's essence during drizzle season. Research snows depleted during the drizzle spawn fertile soil. Huh. I don't know if we really need that, but it could be decent. Uh, let's see. What are the mysteries? Possibly one under open sky. Villagers with this effect have soak clothes and get a minus five penalty to their resolve. That's easy enough to deal with. Just have houses. Faint flame. Strong gusts of wind strike the holy flame. Resources he's sacrificing their ancient hearth burn 40% quicker. May not be a problem. I may not really sacrifice much. Death and decay. Ooh, this is bad. The damp and rotting landscape is the perfect breeding ground for sickness. Every villager that dies during the storm instantly turns into a blood flower, which I believe drains your food. Uh, well, it says die and not leave. My villagers might leave, but I don't think they'll die. And then nauseous spores. Um, time between breaks is reduced by minus 33% for villagers with this effect can be prevented by having services. Honestly, that doesn't seem so bad. I think blight rot might be my real problem on this map. I'll put a harpy into the ancient hearth to help increase that carrying capacity. I don't have consumption control, so um, resources could be a problem. 
Got a, for a dangerous glade down there. A dangerous glade up to the left, up to the right. Might open this small glade as well. I don't think small glades are bad on this type of map. So let's start the usual stuff. Two woodcutters camps. And we will build a um, forager's camp, or trapper's camp, I believe it's called. All right, what are my options? Lumber mill could be real good. Making very, very efficient um, lumber is powerful stuff. Let's see what our uh, orders are, of course, before picking any of that. But we will build a small trapper's camp. Everybody get to work. We are certainly very egalitarian. Multiple beavers, four beavers, three harpies, and four foxes. command to add this. yeah sh if you hold down shift and then add a species the game will try to fill in the rest of the slots with that particular species okay well I kind of want to chop some of these trees that's generally a good idea. And we want to move towards that Forbidden Glade anyway. Okay, small trapper's camp. Put that over there. Um, what does the lumber mill need again to build bricks and fabric? Ooh, that is a problem. I don't think I have any source of fabric at all. What do the trees give? They give leather, right? But it's a very small, small chance. Uh, I might have to prioritize opening this small glade and pray that there is some some fabric in there. I could also, instead of picking the lumber mill, pick the carpenter, which is less efficient, but it also needs fabric. Mm. Yeah, I want to get this, um, that stuff up and going. So, we will open that small glade. I don't think it's wrong to open small glades. Could open a dangerous glade and. I don't like to do it year one though. It feels real risky. I, I do not hate opening small glades personally. We could find something else, right? We could find stone. We could find something else to do in the meantime. We will put down the crude workstation no matter what. Oh, and I need to assign two villagers. Actually, I'll assign the two harpies to work on that snake nest. Oh, these things get leather as well. Okay, okay. Should be able to get enough leather to do work. Corner stone. Hmm. Dye extractor could be good if I produce insects a lot, but this map does have insects. We can see if there are any insects over there. Blood price contract is a way to... It's kind of insurance if villagers start dying or leaving, which they will. I think I'll actually get a lot of value out of this. 
And I haven't built the Forsaken Altar yet. But on this map, I might want to do that. I'm real tempted by this blood prize contract. I, Forsaken Altar, you have to sacrifice a villager, right? So we get a little amber and we, um, we get some buffs. That seems good. I think it's got to be the blood prize contract. In fact, no matter what. Doesn't do anything right now, but it, it will be very powerful. Everything I like to build is just the trading post right away. See what, if any, sort of resources we could potentially trade off. But generally, early game, you don't want to trade anything off. You never know, there could be a deal for like five vegetables for five amber or something. Oh, I have to avoid glade on. Uh, I do want to fell all the trees. I was wondering why they weren't opening that small glade. Okay, orders. Clearing glades, that's a classic. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll do. Complete two glade events. Deliver five packets of building materials. Metal veins is real interesting. I find copper ore. And a way to make copper. It could be very powerful. But clearing glades is just like consistent. Trading post and 10 amber. Yeah. I'm going to build a trading post anyway, and delivering 10 amber is pretty trivial. The 20 biscuits won't do anything in terms of resolve, but it's a little food. Problem solver, complete any three glade events or dangerous glade events completed. Complete any two dangerous or forbidden glade events. Definitely going to complete two dangerous or forbidden glade events uh, at some point. And wildfire essences are real hard to get normally. I'll pick that. Then I will pick the lumber mill. I can't build it now, but I will be able to build it soon. And it's just uh, very efficient. Ooh. This is where we need to start opening some glaze before I pick. Forger's camp could be the right pick if we find a lot of good resources. Marshlands is, um, is a map where you want to forage. Foraging is good. Ah, uh, this is a bad small glade. Very unfortunate. But there is a source of um, herbs and veggies in this uh, s small abandoned cache. That's something. We need to work our way towards that forbidden glade next. It's uh, it's troublesome that I can't build a lumber mill right away. But I'll eventually be able to get enough leather from the eggs and whatnot. It'll be fine. Okay. Build a lumber mill, I know, I know. Rain collector. Just a lot of eggs right now. Don't know that I want to build a rain collector. Stone cutters camp just to get the small deposits is not a bad idea. What sort of trade routes do we have? Stone, nine stone for three ambers, a real good deal. Ah, uh, nine veggies for two amber, not a good deal. None of the rest of these are very good deals. I don't see how we get the stone quick enough though. 
Yeah, not before I can. Uh, I don't have any package of provisions at any rate. No, I don't want to track eggs. I want to track wood. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry. Building houses. What does fox houses require? They require crystallized dew. Oof. That's pretty rough. Yeah, we're opening the glade during the next season, so we need to clear out as much as this central area as possible. I suppose we'll just build the roads for now. Let's teleport to camp over here. Chop all that stuff down. In the meantime, don't want to pick any of those options. I need to see what's uh, in the dangerous glade. Still don't have enough leather. It's it's too early to risk opening the um the uh, dangerous clay that will cause such trouble. I need to save the lumber. Let's just begin by building two shelters. And going from there. actually build a stone cutters camp should be the priority I don't have that modifier where if I build a building and I delayed it it goes away so I like the resources don't get refunded so Clearance season doesn't really change anything. Still don't quite have enough leather.
let's um that glade that dangerous glade do i want to one to the whole right what is that tree there's some just a special uh mushwood um Like I have enough spaces to build houses. The big thing in my mind will be clearing up some warehouse space. So let's do this. Yeah. Good trade routes. Good packet of crops for. Three amber, it's not terrible. Putting a stone cutter, and we have to build a small post at some point, the makeshift post anyway, so I'll do it now. Everybody build. Oh, no. Pack of building material. Pack of crops. Sure. We use the uh, vegetables. Why oh, you bring so many foods here? Ah, I can I can always like remove these from the makeshift post if necessary. It's not that big of a deal. Everybody chop chop. I'm just so relaxing. I just find this game so incredibly relaxing. Um, let's chopped a good chunk over there. Let's move you here to really help out. I need to do all this. Okay, we need to build some more houses. Um, two more shelters should do the trick. Back, I think I need to uh, send my villager who's gathering food do that as well. As the storm season is here soon. Unless I have the houses built, we're gonna have a bad time. Let's construct also a park. Cute little park. For the villagers to get that resolve up. Storm is coming. Wood is a lot less plentiful on this map, that's for sure. Okay. 
That should bump everyone's resolve up just enough. Do I have enough to build the, um... Surely I have enough leather now, right? No? Nobody. One leather. Ugh, the leather. It's coming so slowly. Storm, we have a trade route. Oof. I don't like to sell off my parts, but I may not have much of a choice. I'll get the five parts back from delivering the 10 amber. This is a really favorable trade. I don't know about the one part for five, uh, five amber, but one part and two provisions for seven amber is an excellent deal. Not sure I can turn that off. Uh, up. Okay, and then let's boot out some villagers. I'm actually going to have a slight resolve problem. Let's put you in there. You can go there. Is there any way I can like have more people chopping wood? <laughs> That small glade I open. Well, when the queen's impatience grows, I'll be all right. Build a rain collector. Mostly because I don't have anything else to build right now. This thing will come in use. Agua is always delayed it if, uh, when it's necessary. Foxes like the rain collecting. I can sell the stone. That would be nice. That would be a very nice uh, result. They keep making packets of provisions. Because I'm about to trade off some more. Queen's impatience dropped, so now I can afford to put a beaver back in to harvest trees and so forth. That it for the stone? No, there, there's a little more stone. villagers I want the part um, but I 
If I accept the villagers now, it would cause massive uh, resolve problems. Um, okay, I need to pause for a little bit. All right, I'm back. Uh, and I know two villagers came, but I don't want to accept this group just yet. We're in the middle of a storm. I don't want my hostility to go above zero because I have no way of fixing that problem right now. And the extra villagers would literally sit around doing nothing. And I'd rather have the slightly more, uh, get a little extra wood from my wood choppers. Okay, I want to force that delivery because I want to make the, uh, Need to make the fabric. I'm co yeah, I, I like to. Um, the crude workshops is actually a surprisingly good candidate for the storm water. Getting that double yield from these basic uh, resources is real, real good. And I have uh, plenty of pipes due to my embarkation bonus, so why not? Any other good trade routes? I don't want to sell my uh, this part over there. That seems like a bad idea. For only a measly five amber? No, we can do better. Yes, we got a double yield from the fabric production. Excellent. Stonecutter's camp is empty, but... I always wanted to get that lumber mill going. Where is it? Right here. That seems like a good spot. Oh, we should actually open the... Um, the glade now. Right as the drizzle season starts, that's always when you want to be opening glades. Alright, everybody get to work. I have the fell all trees, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, now... Let's see what we got. Secure perimeter. Every discovered forbidden glade lowers the hostility game from dangerous and forbidden glades by six and from small glades by three. It doesn't do anything right now, though. Farsight, scouting hit makes it easier to prepare for the worst. Discovering a small glade increases the working speed of scouts investigating dangerous or forbidden glade events by 50%. Eh. I don't really want to discover too many small glades. Um, cooking steam. Nope. Rebellious spirit. Gain plus one for a little boy resolve for every two impatience points. Huh. We should have a lot of impatience. Getting that extra resolve... I like this rebellious spirit. Yeah, yeah, this, this is a rebel town right here. Rebel town is right. Getting that slight buff to resolve could be extremely useful. Take my newcomers now. Let's check our new orders. Deliver 100 drizzle water. That might be difficult. But use 180 rain water is pretty trivial. Okay, uh, probably gonna pick the burn blight rot sis. I don't even know if I have like farms I can use, but 
Okay, rain collector. Drizzle water is generally a good thing. I have a trader here. Forager's camp, if I could somehow scrounge up the uh, 34 amber, which I cannot. Oh, I do have haulers. I'm gonna put them in the haulers, those uh, workers, huh? Okay, but let's, uh, how many beavers do I have? Zero. Really? We're collecting rain, buddy. We don't need that. I'm gonna keep two foxes free for whatever that glade event is. Alright, I'll put a harpy in there. And then, come on. Everybody, let's cut through the trees. Okay, we got a granary. That is real good, because it can make pickled goods. I could have crops efficiently, fabric efficiently. Excellent find. Fuming machinery. Ooh. To fix it to get a makeshift extractor. I can get clearance water from that, but I have no earthly way of fixing it. So I have to tear it down using the storm water and uh, lumber. If I don't take care of it, it will destroy deposits and trees in nine minutes and kills villagers within a five field radius. That's actually not the worst. I assume, uh, I mean, I could buy nine fabric off of you. That's affordable. I can actually do that. Personalize do the pipes, the tea. I'd rather it not destroy this uh, deposit of stone. It seems like it would be useful. Although there are other deposits of stone nearby. Oh, this this does not help. These are these are uh, the kiln, I guess. Because I can make coal pretty efficiently. Food's such a problem, though. What is there anything in this cache? Ah, yes. Fifty meat. Uh, use that to make jerky. Oh boy. This this map's gonna be a problem for food. I need to buy food. It's a matter of survival. What sort of trade deals we have? None that are very good. What? You have one tool, right? I think this takes like, yeah. I was hoping to buy the tools and sell it off, but it won't work. This is not the glade I'm looking for. It's all industry. This granary is real good. Hmm. I think the next, after clearing out a few more of these trees, we're gonna set myself to opening this other dangerous glade down here and hope it has like a source of food. 
Forbidden Glades are real good to explore on this map, though. This type of map, uh, the marshland, because they always have a uh, guaranteed good source of food. And it would be helpful to know which variation it is. I think the kiln's got to be the right pick here. Hmm. I don't know about this choice though. Might depend a little on what orders we get. Yeah, gonna burn the blight rot cyst there. I got. Oh, I have to actually buy twelve fabric. Yeah. And I sell off. Stone's actually pretty plentiful, but. I might need that. Can't sell the wood. Wood's like real valuable. I'll just give you all my amber. Yeah? Don't really see a better choice. Sell off some of the wildfire essences. Don't know that I need to do that yet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how do I get 18 fabric? I thought I only bought 12. Okay, whatever. You go build a lumber mill. Everyone else chop chop. Um, gathering drizzle water is cute, but I have no way to actually take advantage of that yet. So, I'd rather have my villagers doing other things. Enough storm water, right? Eleven. I thought, um, I thought the game I ha said I had enough. Yeah, I think it shows a a symbol if you don't have enough. Okay, we got the lumber mill going. I'd like to put beavers in there. The double yield from the lumber is so much better than. Like anything else we could do. We should probably build another house. Good position for mine, but... Oh, right, the fertile soil um, popping up, but can't really take advantage of it. Not very well, at least. It's just not enough fertile soil to do anything. Not to mention I don't really have any blueprints for it. Alright, I think I have uh, five more amber, but I'll probably save that to turning a quest. Provisions do I have? Three. Okay, built the house. 
chopped all that stuff down. Um, I'll chop that area down. Be like that. Uh, I don't know that there's too much else I do here. Let's just redeploy. goods require stuff I can I definitely have I can get a source of pottery barrels or water skins that would be good smokehouse apparently can make it pottery but it needs clay clay is not exactly easy to get provisioner can make barrels if I can get copper it's interesting I suppose I will eventually need drizzle water, but I I'm not anticipating being able to produce things out of the granary for a while. Not a good start, not a good start. Fixing the granary now wouldn't really accomplish anything. Oh, I could make fabric better though. I think uh, what I need is stone. So I can tear into some of these caches and get the resources. Twenty-three planks. That might be good enough for now. How much is a mine again? Uh, we need clay. Um, uh, what, what about building a kiln? Right, I have a source of coal right here. Maybe the kiln wasn't such a good pick. But we can at least build a bricks a little cheaper. They're oh. in season. Beaver is doing. Oh, 
crude workstation. A weird place for beaver. Very calm village right now. I also don't know what to do about the harpies because they're gonna get unhappy. I literally have no idea what to do about that. Uh, six stone. Yeah, stone's a valuable trade good. Okay, what can we do about the harpies' unhappiness? I don't think I can do anything. I just, I think I have to let the harpies leave. I don't have any complex food. I don't have anything else. I can't do the favoriting trick. I could put them into the crude workshop and turn on the comfort all the way on the rain engine. That might actually be the only solution. I can use that time to make some, um, Fabrics or whatnot. Ah, but the granary is so much better. Use that time to make some bricks. That's all I got. Is there any other building that I want to connect the pumps to? Yo, yeah. This is a uh, stormwater. A tiny building. Sure. Where is it? Need someone to build that. We'll need. Oh, I need all the wood right now. We'll build that later. five stone there okay sell a little micro move the stone out of the crude workshop so that i can sell it for money money very important solve the fuming machinery event that's good i want that queen's impatience higher please be more impatient my queen the storm hits I have to pull people out of the woodcutters camp so this stone is gonna be a key to my victory I feel like
provision over the barrels, right? It's got to be that. So we should fix up the granary sooner rather than later. I'm gonna send a fox to take care of that. One thing I have going for me in this settlement is I can produce all of my uh, building materials very, very efficiently. In theory, if I boot out most of my woodcutters, I actually can, uh, can be all right. Yeah, I really don't want to, but let's, um, let's get that kiln set up. I, I might boot out the woodcutters. We'll see. Uh, how does it work? It's it's minus uh, six every year at each level, so it's minus twelve. I I can't handle that. But I don't want to use resources. Okay, we're gonna boot those. Put you in there, put you in there. We will build a mine. Now we'll build a kiln first and then the mine. Yep. to help out rebuild right now build the kiln trade routes I might sell some of this coal 13 coal for 7 is not bad especially because I can build a coal mine to put villagers in here connect the pipes oh I think I can actually put three villagers in the woodcutters camp because um, let me just double check here yeah okay okay it's only minus six resolve so we're good as long as I don't go above hostility one that is fantastic news Okay, then I can get more villagers soon. Good. Situation is not as bad as it looks.
Some double yields going. I'm gonna need to build a blight post next season. is real worth get that coal mined up and then i will sell off some of the coal let me think which one of these is the better deal the the 13 coal plus two provisions is the better deal okay and need someone to make slightly more packet of provisions Newcomers are almost here. I will take whatever newcomers because I need to put more people to work. Rebellious, rebellious spirit keeps everyone happy. Villagers. I don't like the three foxes. I just want the most bodies right now. built the granary good idea to build some fabric I have one villager without housing that's okay Uh, four workers. What do I need the workers to do? They just all mine some stuff for now. Uh, let's put two workers in here. I think I actually want some more buildings and stuff. I want a little more flexibility. For example, I can put down another house that I will need eventually. Alright, I think it's time to open the glades. Let's do it. sell off these six coal for three I should be able to get a lot of coal get that money going right now I think mines can be upgraded now right Ooh. 
Okay, definitely want to upgrade this. Um, increase production speed by 50% or an automated minecart will help miners transport resources from the mine to the storage. No, I want to increase the production speed by building this pit pony. But before we do that, we, we should open the glade, see what's actually there. We might need, we might need to deal with this. Altar of Decay. Yeah, I was a little afraid of something like this. Although... We could perform the Forbidden Ritual. And it would count as um, Harmony Decoration. And I have the resources to do it, and I kind of don't want to spare the resources to do anything else. Okay, there's also some um, fertile soil here, good to know, and forger's camp would be nice. Ooh, a lot of crystallized dew. Light timber. Any woodcutter carries five additional items. Definitely want to break open this large cache down here, too, as soon as I get the 40 stone. Okay, a lot of things are going to happen. A lot of things are happening. Food is still a problem that I have not solved. But... If I can make pickled goods, I would solve it. And to make pickled goods, I will need a provisioner. And a crystallized dew. And lumber. Okay, I gotcha. I understand. I understand. You going and make that. Forbidden ritual. Ooh, kills one random villager. I bet, hey! My entire plan is based on, like, letting villagers die. I'm not concerned about that. Also, sacrifices are offered to creatures trapped beneath the ancient seals. Maybe this will keep them resting a little while longer. Pray this never reaches the queen's ears. Kills one random villagers. Activates every time work on the corresponding glade event is started. The effect won't be reversed once work is stopped. So the work has to, like, continue. Uh, you know what? Let's see who dies. I get my 10 amber, right? Trapper died. A harpy trapper. Ooh. Trappers are very valuable. If I turn into packet of building materials, I'll have four new villagers to do stuff with. That seems important. So, I will... Temporarily exit the mine, and then we're gonna make packet of building materials. Oh, at the lumber, no, at the makeshift post. And we will make it from lumber, I'm thinking. Yes. Oh, yeah. More cornerstones, more orders. Peasant supplies looks real good. Meat specialization. Tanning racks. I, I know I'm not getting a lot of leather from these random uh, resources, but... I think just getting the random leather will, will be enough. The plus two to leather every time I proc one of these 20%. Will be enough to give me just enough leather to keep going. Okay. So I have some more orders. I'm gonna pick the 20 building materials. Just I have no way of knowing if I can fulfill leisure so many times. That seems difficult. And then booming economy. Yeah, we're gonna do that eventually. Okay, I am going to. I also need a blight rot post this season. Ooh, so much I need. Alright. 
Yeah, redeploy these villagers. And I think uh, drizzle water is a bit of a luxury right now. Building builders build quicker. I don't care about that. Generous donations, interesting. But I might buy some of your uh, basic goods. Like the fabric, uh, Ofarloff, but I, I won't do anything right now. Yeah, that Queen's Impatience bar is filling up, but that is working out in my favor, to be honest. <gasps> right, I can't favor the species! Sure, bring the coal over. Um, I have one free villager. What was I gonna do? Make a packet of building materials. And I need to gather food. Okay, you can go gather the food. a lot of pipes right I have 20 of these things and what a kiln is connected crude workstation is connected crude workstation do I get the pipes back if I delayed it no stormwater is my most plentiful resource let's uh, connect it just to uh, increase the double yield chance on the planks which can definitely matter. Nothing to sell. Except for a packet of building materials. Don't need all this. I suppose a biscuits. Nice little source of food, but I, I don't need this stuff. And I want to keep that queen's impatience as high as possible for as long as possible. You performing your ritual, buddy? Need you to perform that ritual before things get um, bad. Okay, Ofarloff is leaving. They want to buy some stuff off you. I don't think the tools will do anything. Pottery is not bad. Pottery is really, really not bad because I can make the pickled goods right away and make my food count for more. How, how much pottery can I buy for 13 amber? Uh, 17 amber. Pretty good. If you're throwing one more pottery and I drawing like three more copper or yes. That's a good deal. Fabric will be okay on, but pick your goods. Keep everyone happy. Yes. Not Reassign. Boxes to start making those. In fact, I want maximum pickled goods. Okay. 
Everybody will be hungry for a little bit, but just a little bit. Nothing to panic about. I don't want to build a small warehouse right here. Just to keep things, um... Yeah. This actually seems like a really, really good position. There are some eggs. The mine is here. The stone is there. The stone's over there, but... I don't even know if I harvest that other stone. Need two parts, but I'll get two parts as soon as I turn in my rewards. Okay, let's get the uh, clearing glades. We get jerky, parts, villagers. Excellent. Got a new recipe. Hmm. Explorer's Lodge could actually be decent here. Strud's Hut, the problem is I don't have any of the inputs. can pick an explorer's lodge to for like later on in the game okay four villagers we'll assign two to chop and one to build a small warehouse One packet of building materials for a little money, yes. Um, jerky, everybody should eat those, and then we'll have to pick out goods. The problem is the raw food situation is bad. I need like a... Now I could use that uh, plantation or a small farm or something like that. Also, uh, upgrade my. Uh, should build a blight post now. Any uh, parts? Yeah, it's time to turn in a uh, trading post here. I didn't want to do it uh, because of the queen's impatience, but I need those parts now. The blight post, maybe over here. And put a hydrant. Usually, the warehouse uh, ends up having a huge blight rot problem.
the bike post to be as uh, flexible as possible in terms of roads. Okay, the, the we got the biscuits. We should have a lot of uh, food there. So I'll boot a villager out. Chop all that wood. Yeah. Oh my God. 360%. How? Wow. Villagers are going to die. <laughs> villagers are going to die. I'll pick the Druid Hut or, or the Explorer's Lodge rather. None of the other options excite me. Ooh, small farm. Okay. We need that for sure. All right. All right. We got, we got this. We got this. Nobody panic. We'll clear out all this. With the small farm. We cannot afford to be collecting clearance water. Not yet. The food situation's uh, all right. Let's, um... Boot out the two harpies. We need uh we need everybody to build I think it says 360%, but really it shouldn't take that much firefighting to get that down. We have enough lumber. All right, we, we need to make our home more resistant. So we'll put down a park and a um, garden. Along with a... I kind of want to start building the big shelters. Critical mistake. The biscuits and the jerky at the same time means harpies go through double the food and uh, pickled goods as well. Ah, I shouldn't have accepted. Um, I should have been. I shouldn't have built the uh, pickled goods until they've eaten all through their biscuits because I can't afford like to spend food like this right now. I guess with the small farm built, we'll, we'll be better. But. Let's uh, prioritize this other node. I guess we'll be better, but even so. Hmm. Start working on this upper right sector. up all my wood I need to um put okay, I have just enough lumber to upgrade the pit pony 
Just enough lumber for a little something extra. I'm gonna allow burning coal because I will soon have no choice. Right, let's upgrade that pit pony now. Get the mining going. Okay, earning a little resolve. But low on fuel. Yeah, yeah, I know. Trade route. Oh, if only I could make uh, provisions. It's definitely worth doing it's a driving little village but bad things about to happen real soon real soon How's the food situation looking? Once I turn in those uh, pickled goods, I should be all right. Also need to get that small farm going. Not selling the mushroom. I don't think I afford to sell the crystallized oh well, I might sell the stone for sure oh seven bricks for uh five that's a good deal man that is a good deal do I need the bricks for anything forsaken altar but I don't can't actually use that so sure, we'll sell it. Um, I will actually make some more packet of provisions. Okay. I can always uh, rebuild the small farm uh, to a more optimal location. For now, I just need to get to get the farm started. I don't actually think I have a way of uh, using grain, right? Two hostility, we should be kind of okay. Uh, newcomers, I don't think I can accept them right now. Not at the beginning of the storm. Let's see how things look first. Yeah, the harpies are unhappy. Don't really see a way around that. Go like deal with the blight rot.
yeah, the uh, ancient herbs is getting corrupted, but the firefighters are doing their job. Okay, it's it's under control. Everything is under control. Good. I think now I might accept the extra villagers. Maybe the two beavers and one harpy just to keep the population a little lower. We need some rainwater collectors. Then Okay, do I have any way to use grain right now? Provisioner. Okay, so grain is definitely the right thing to build. Ah, oh, you're right. The harpies are very unhappy. What was gonna... They need to do the firefighting, though. So I might just pull out more woodcutters. Um, not sure there's a better solution. Gotta let the harpies go, of course. Well... Converter, Altar of Decay. A place for forbidden necrotic traits. Hostility is reduced by minus 20 points. For every villager that leaves a settlement or dies. Uh, yeah. So, you know, harpies. You want to you wanna leave, right? You want to leave so I can get some more amber. And so the hostility will go down, right? Yeah, maybe not all of you. Just some of you. Maybe like two harpies. That seems like that would be good. Don't you agree? Uh, speaking of agreeing, let's prepare for the harpies leaving. Completed two dangerous glade events. Don't need to turn any of this stuff in right now. Yes. We'll let at least one harpy leave. Surely that can't be too wrong, right? I mean, I literally have one villager not doing anything right now. Okay, the blight rot situation is basically under control. Sell the stone, that's a really good deal. I don't know that I open this uh, Dangerous Glade next year. I, I have so many other things going on. I'm not confident it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a heartbeat. Builder. Oh right, there's the um, there's the effect that causes the additional blight rot cyst to. Oh no, that's um, that's blood flower and that's hostility four. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. 
Harpy Builder has left. We got some money. We got a hostility reduction from that from my altar. Okay. Sure, this is great. I'm not complaining. Okay, I think uh, the Blight fighting is good enough for now. We have any way... Ooh, the next tier upgrade is kind of expensive. You just mine all the coal now, buddy. And then we have the one free builder to do nothing. Because I really don't have anything else to do. Except chop more wood. And I still haven't solved my actual food problems. I need to make fabric. Alright, the coal situation is looking real good. That's at least the one thing I got going for me. All this coal is going to be able to power my town. Um, I guess I actually do want this large stone. I think uh, the blight rot's under control enough. I'm gonna free up the harpies to do other things. Yes, the uh, burn blight rot sis. Um, real good. Let's actually rebuild a small farm over here now. I can delete that one. where I s set up my second small hearth. I would imagine near the farm is the best. I could build a small warehouse and stuff, but... There's no rush. I want that provisioner sooner rather than later. Ooh, provisioner makes the provisions way more efficiently. So. Yeah. Mm, I don't know that this is a good location. Build it like right here. Gotta build it right. Ooh, I know. I build it like that. Yeah. Gotta have some semblance of order.
Are there there's seriously no mushrooms so far? Like, my herbalist camp is literally doing nothing. That is sad. Stone. Boy, these are all good, but I think safe haven's just hard to pass up. It's just one of the most reliable um, things. Fire starter is good. I want the villagers. Got another order. I have at least twenty harmony decorations. You know, the one thing I have a lot of is um. I have nine harmony decorations already. Hmm. Intriguing. And I have six villagers now. Y'all should be uh, planting those fields, right? Oh, you're you're building. Okay, that's fine. Uh making fabric. We're gathering the storm water, the rain water. Should think about delivering those packets of building materials. It's a real good reward. Definitely want to get a small hurt set up. All right, let's build a provisioner and then go from there. Want to buy all the pottery? I'm afraid I may. I don't really have a choice. These other items are good, but. I can afford to sell you a couple parts. Whereas I have no way of making pottery. Ugh. Um, I can sell you one wildfire essence because might use the other ones to build robots and so forth. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna make the pickle goods until the foxes ate through the porridge. And everybody eats through the porridge just to save some re uh, food resources. Food is uh, not infinite, that's for sure. But the hard. For a packet of building materials, um. Lumber isn't exactly infinite. Two villagers working on that.
I don't want to plant vegetables. I only want to plant grain there. Uh, and then... Explorer's Lodge. Eh. That's not too much for my uh, villagers to do. Just. Spread out and make like bricks and stuff. Forbidden Glade up there. No, for there's a Forbidden Glade down there. Hmm. You know, this area I think would actually make the uh, better small her. Um. A little tricky though. We need to chop down more of the trees in the corner. Okay. Um. Harpy Builder is left. Blight Rock Sis. That was from earlier. So they're they're ancient. Well, Trapper's Camp has no deposits. This is actually now good enough to build another farm. Why don't you two work on that? See if we can farm up some uh, goods. Um, you know, we're going to delete all this so those two builders know what to prioritize. And the trader is going to go. I have eight amber left. Anything that I want. Not really. Yeah, we'll save the amber. Now I just need a way to make um, biscuits or yeah, biscuits would be good. Pie could be okay. Biscuits would be best. farm up some resources all right. made all the bricks we're gonna make coal is plentiful Town is starting to become established. Good. Alright, let's put the woodcutters right here. We need to clear out this area to put down a small herb. Gotta go like right there. Or possibly right there. And next, right there, I like. Okay, so let's mark it out one, two, three, four. Like that. Right. Two more villagers. Um, Doing the actual building and stuff. Alright, trade routes. 
don't know that I could afford to sell off my bricks or my fabric right now. I also really don't want to sell off any source of food. Sunny Woods. We're going to sell off some fabric for you just to get you to the next tier. You know what? Let's do it. I actually have lots of leather. Lots of reeds. Can make a uh, fabric all day long. But let us make a couple of light fighting tools. All right, once the clearing season comes, I think this will be a good place to pause. This, is, this has been a fun, fun challenge. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to deliver 50 AO and 50 um, scrolls, but this would be so sweet to do because you get a forum. It would make everyone happy. I should, um, I should look into if I can get AO somehow. Like, if I unlock a blueprint for ale, no. But I unlocked a blueprint for... Ooh. I want the bakery, or do I want the apothecary? I probably want the apothecary. Make all the biscuits. Hmm. But it's less flexible. I need roots berries and herbs I don't have any of that pie though is also don't have any way to make pie hmm hmm I need to open a glade next year. Huh. Bakery is more flexible, right? So I think I have to pick that as much as I would love to pick the apothecary or potentially getting the other goods. Bakery can also make me pottery. There's also a building called a distillery. If you can find that and just make porridge from the grain and rainwater, it would be pretty set as well. Chop down that line of trees first. I mean, I guess in the meantime. I kind of want to build a forsaken altar and just sacrifice to the gods. But I, I need uh, I need a raw food. I This forbidden glade will be the answer to my problems. We can see what we can harvest from there. 
and that could solve literally all of my problems. So we gotta chop chop in this direction. Okay, okay. We have a plan. Porridge is starting to run out. Let's um, turn on the pickled goods. And otherwise just spilled a couple of roads. Harpies are really going to have happiness problems. Can I make jerky in the kiln if I had a uh, meat? I do not have. Six crystallized dew for nine amber. It's a good deal, but... This is a lot of resources over here, including the meat, the valuable, valuable meat. Okay, I gotta take a break here. Thank you for watching. Until next time.